Apologies at the top, a few times in the video the sound does a weird buzzing thing, very sorry for that. Hello friends, welcome, or welcome back, to Get Ready with America. My name is SJ, and I'm getting you ready for the 2022 elections state by state. This video will be discussing South Dakota, where three statewide races may just be Republican catfights. My eye look will be inspired, as promised in the intro video, by the state bird, the ring-necked pheasant. If you want to watch any other 2022 state preview videos, I'll have my Vote Miss playlist linked below, where you'll also find links to more info about the elections in South Dakota, as well as a list of everything I'm wearing on my face. Standard disclaimer, this video was filmed and posted in mid-January. I hope the vast majority of the information I'm sharing will still be relevant whenever you're watching this up to the state's primary date, but we haven't hit most candidate filing deadlines, so something in this video could be outdated at this point. Check the state government links in the description box for the most up-to-date information. Let's get into it. Republican Senator John Thune recently decided to run for a fourth term to the U.S. Senate. He serves in a leadership position and is comparably young, but he's been pretty openly frustrated with Trump's election fraud agenda. He criticized House Republicans for challenging the electoral votes on January 6th, and Trump in turn said he'd back a challenger this year. Also, just to clarify, this is not the same South Dakota senator that Trump is currently feuding with. That is Senator Mike Rounds. Now, there are a few candidates in the Republican primary, but none of them has Trump's backing, and the only polling I've seen puts Thune against two people who aren't running for the seat. So there doesn't seem to be a serious effort to oust him. I'm going to link a very interesting op-ed in the description box about Thune's long game to win his Senate seat that probably explains why no one is jumping to back a challenger. South Dakota has one at-large House district represented by Republican Dusty Johnson, who is running for a third term. He is a fairly standard bureaucrat climbing up the ladder, and he's facing a challenge from state rep Taffy Howard, a consistent party establishment challenger. Johnson's most serious infraction seems to be voting to keep Liz Cheney in party leadership, but I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if he kind of sucks as a person. I can't really explain it. Just, just trust me. Republican Governor Kristi Noem is running for a second term. She is very socially conservative, putting issues like blocking critical race theory from schools and outlawing abortion at the forefront of her agenda. She'll face one challenger in the primary, state rep Stephen Hogard, who says that Noam bowed to business interests because she has higher aspirations, but I've never seen that angle work in a campaign. No Democrats have declared yet, even though supposedly the state party has been talking with potential candidates since spring. In 2018, then State Senate Minority Leader Billy Sutton ran unopposed in the primary, so I wouldn't be surprised if a singular candidate emerges in the next couple weeks who has a whole campaign ready to go with the party. The entire legislature is up, and uh, I'm pretty sure that'll stay red. 
on the ballot in November is a constitutional amendment that would expand Medicaid benefits in the states. On the primary ballot is a constitutional amendment that would require a three-fifths majority vote in favor of ballot questions that involve major financial changes as opposed to a simple majority. Interestingly, that second amendment only needed a simple majority of votes from the legislature to get on the ballot, and it only got that simple majority in the Senate. So, to recap, the ballot question in the primary will determine the threshold the ballot question in the general needs to hit to pass. Very cool. South Dakota's closed primary is on June 7th, and the deadline to register to vote is May 23rd. Those convicted of a felony can re-register at the completion of their sentence, including the payment of all fees, which really super sucks. There is no early in-person voting, but anyone is able to request an absentee ballot. You will need to present ID at the polls. I've included a 2022 elections guide from the Secretary of State's office in the description box where you can learn more. And that's the look. Please be sure to check the description box for the playlist of all my Vote Miss videos, as well as links to learn more about voting in South Dakota. I'll be covering all 50 states and DC, so check the playlist or stay tuned to learn more about your state. Please help the channel, the algorithm, and democracy by liking this video right down there and leaving a comment if you think the Democrats have something up their sleeve for the governor's race or they haven't found a sacrificial lamb yet. Subscribe to the channel so the next Vote Miss video shows up right in your feed. Thanks. I'll see you again soon.